Hey everybody, if you're looking at wind turbines, particularly portable wind turbines, you might have noticed there's a trend, a modern trend, to brushless DC motors of low RPM but high voltage output. And that makes a lot of sense because they're relatively low torque. And of course, in Britain, we get an average wind speed of about 4.5 meters per second. So we don't have a lot of available torque or a lot of RPM. And if you want to buy one of these motors, they are depressingly expensive, and that's the worry about them. It would be much nicer if we could use a motor that we just have lying around and that you can buy for a few pounds or pick up for scrap. Now, I'm going to do it on the motor here, because this motor, of course, is absolutely everywhere. But what we're doing applies to any of this kind of motor, irrespective of the size. Because if we take that apart and pull it to pieces, what we'll get is this. This is a really popular motor. This motor is um, quite depressing, actually. If we were to take this out of the gearbox, which is right here, and spin it by hand, we'd probably get about 0.2.3 of a volt out of it, because we need to gear it to get speed out of this before we start getting the voltage and of course once you gear it you do get speed but you need very much more torque in order to turn it and we don't have a lot of available torque so it would be really cool if we could change this motor which is a brushed DC motor into a brushless motor that had low RPM, low torque, but high voltage output. Now in order to do that, what we need to do really is have a look on the inside. Okay, now we've got it apart. There's the body and it has a bearing right there. And of course, down there you can see the magnets and they're um, oh, ferrite magnets, I think. Put that to one side. Here's the rotor. This is the cap. And on the cap, you can see the brushes there because it was a brush DC motor. If you look on the rotor, there's the commutator right there. And have a look at those coils. If we look at those coils, that wire is pretty thick. And that wire is pretty thick because it's got to take a lot of amps, but there isn't much of it. So what we're going to do is rewind this rotor. So as we follow that wire, we can see it begins there and we unwind it and it unwinds in an anti-clockwise rotation, which means it was wound clockwise. So let's unwind all of those. When you've unwound it, what happens is it goes into that section of the commutator. There's a clip actually on this and then it comes out and then this one again is anti-clockwise. So again, that has been turned clockwise. So there's a start point, turn it clockwise into the clip out Turn it clockwise, into the clip, out, turn it clockwise, and finish it. Now there's 24 turns of 0.6 mil gauge wire. And there we go. Now I've got 150 turns of thinner wire on. Now I have a choice here. If I'd taken the coil just straight over that bit there and soldered on, I would have made it into a brush DC generator. But I want to do something different with it. So over the commutator, I've fitted this large bearing. It's 21 mil by 15 mil. And that means that... Instead of turning this bit as we used to, if we fit the body over it, we'll be able to turn the body and this stays still. So this becomes the stator and this becomes the rotor. In order to center that, I've 3D printed a centering ring. You could, of course, just cut this from a bit of plastic. But that goes into the body and over. There we go. Over the bearing like that. Okay, and that's it finished. Now, instead of it turning on the axle, if we grip the axle, it turns on the body. So now the body is the generator and it's a brushless DC generator. But let's have a look at the voltage output. Okay, so if we grip the axle this time and spin this body, we'll get a voltage reading here. And what we're expecting is something like six times the volts that we got before, because we got about 0.2.3 volts without this adaptation done. We put in about six times the length of wire, so we should get more or less six times the voltage. <laughs> Let's spin, and if Luke will do the honours and let me know what voltage we're getting, then we'll know. Oh, 1.3? There you go. <laughs> That's a piece of cake. <laughs> I think you got 1.8, Did you? Oh, well, that's pretty cool. So, <laughs> piece of cake. Now, why would you do something like that? Well, because what you want is a wind turbine, or what I want is a wind turbine, and because they're low RPM, they don't spin particularly quickly. And when you've got something like a drill motor, you're either going to gear it, 
or you're going to change it into a low RPM high voltage generator and that's how you go about doing it. Now as I said we could have left this as brushed just by connecting up to the commutator and taking it directly from the commutator or we can do it as a brushless which is exactly what we've done here. We don't need to change it to rotate the body you can just leave the axle it will be identical. I just like rotating the body because I want to put it into a wind turbine. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.